Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue Final Fantasy V, the Pixel Remaster. So let's fire it up. Alrighty, in our previous episode we went through the Gill Cave, we got some extra cash, and <clears throat> uh, now, let's see, I think I'm actually going to change my jobs up. Um, I don't think I want Lennon to be a chemist here. So, let me think. Um, can, can time mages... I'm trying to remember. Okay, time mages can equip the healing staff. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, see here. I do want uh, you with the elven mantle. Luminous Robe, yes. Sage's Miter, yes. Um, <clears throat> okay, Lena, you're set. A Cryo. You really don't do much good as a Red Mage, to be perfectly frank. So let's have you be a Blue Mage. And give you Gaia, I guess. Mostly it's so that uh, she gets a shield. Um... And let's see, great sword. <clears throat> let's give you the main gauche, actually. Or the dancing dagger. Because that enhances your magic. Yeah, let's do that. Then I uh, give you the elven mantle. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do I want to give you Gaia gear? Because that <clears throat> increases magic defense. Which I think is more important here. Yeah. Because you're going to be on the back row anyway. <clears throat> And then for Ferris, uh, let's see, rapid fire and throw, that's fine. Do I want, do I really want you to be a, a samurai? <clears throat> if we had, if we had gobs and gobs of extra gill, we could just Zeninage spam our way, spam our way through the dungeon, but that's not really viable. <clears throat> We'd need like half a million gil to do that. Um, so, let me think here. I think I want to start out with a thief. Because, <clears throat> because, because, because. Um, actually, maybe a monk. Because we need somebody. <clears throat> or another ninja. We could have to do another ninja. But basically we need somebody who... We need two people at least who can um, consistently do AoE damage. <clears throat> to the entire battlefield. Um, we could have a singing ninja. That would work. Um, and then... S have it be like that. <clears throat> I do not want, let's see, give you the power armlet, and uh, do I want to give you the ninja suit? Uh, I think so, yes. That takes down your defense, but it increases your agility. <clears throat> um, give you the green beret, actually. What do you have equipped? You have the tiger mask. <clears throat> uh, let's see, ninja suit. Yeah, we'll give you the ninja suit, and then we want you to have the... Let's see, diamond armlet's fine. <clears throat> Although, I think it would be better suited... ...with you... Yeah, I give you the power armlet. <clears throat> Since you have dual, um... Or not dual cast. <laughs> Rapid fire. Okay, that should do... <clears throat> there's, a, there's a lot of... There's a lot of combos that we could do this uh, castle with. Um, we're gonna try this one today. 
it's pretty close to my usual. Alright, gentlemen. Rest well. You've earned it. Okay, and in here we do have two chests. <clears throat> which I have missed before. Line wolf, alright. Throw stuff. See ya. Alright, another diamond shield. Uh, let's see. Alright, yeah, we're good. <clears throat> Ether, very good. Alright, Brant of Strike, just what I like. Uh, we'll use some water scrolls. <clears throat> oh man, come on. Yeah, these Hellraisers with their ability. On upon death they do that. So whatever. We'll just do some rapid fire. I don't know that we'll need to sing, but. <clears throat> ah, those blind wolves, they. They blind you! <laughs> uh, with their. Um... But the thing, the nice thing about. Um... I think that it doesn't affect rapid fire, so we could probably leave the cool uh, the cool dude glasses on, and it wouldn't matter. I don't think. If it affects rapid fire, then uh, then we'll take care of it. Oh, it does affect rapid fire. Okay. It reduces the damage. No, nope. no, it doesn't. Never mind. That was just because he's in the back row. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, anybody need a heal? Nope. Uh, we'll just do defend then. That should do it. Alrighty. Fantastic. Alright. We come up here. Oh, hey. There's nowhere to go. I guess we better go home. And Kryl says, nope. Nope. It's a trick. So now we will see that uh, this is an illusion created by X Death. It's not really the shiny, um, pristine castle with nice springs and wading pools and um, alabaster pillars. I don't know if they're alabaster, but. And we uh, cut to Kelliger, who senses that Galuf has fallen as along with Zezat. And Dorgan, who passed years ago. <clears throat> so now, he prepares himself to pass on as well. And, you know, this makes me think it would have been really, really cool if they would have um, made Kelliger and Zezat playable within the party. Kind of like they did Galaf, right? Have all of the surviving Dawn Warriors... Um, be uh, be playable characters in the party. So, you know, I, I understand that that would that would take you know that would have taken some shuffling around of one the story for you know they would have had to figure out okay how do we work this into the story how do we work this in, into <clears throat> the plot and everything since uh, that's kind of where you have to start is the storyboard right and and then perhaps even more complicated than that is um or maybe it would have taken more time I, I don't know um but an additional complication would have been designing a job every job for two additional characters right that would have been pretty tough maybe not tough but it would have been time consuming <clears throat> maybe tough if they had a deadline right uh, or at least deadline and and maybe that's something that was on the drawing board maybe they thought oh you know that would be so cool if the, the player could play as each one of the remaining Dawn Warriors that originally um, 
you know, were part of the story 30 years prior when they sealed next death. That would be so cool. But maybe they figured, oh, we don't have time to do that. So we need to write the story so that um, they're they're not in the party. So I don't know. Um, it just um, would have been super cool to, to, to see that. But um, that's, uh, alas, not how it was written. So, um, but nonetheless, the story that we get is still... To me, amazing. I, I do love the story of Final Fantasy V. Um, <clears throat> and um, I see Grandpa and a Wolfman. That could be a <laughs> that could be a title of like a super old horror movie, right? Hey, Grandpa and the Wolfman. All right. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so now we have the combined power of uh, Ghost Gallop and Kelliger and all of the wolf, uh, the, the werewolves, and we got some green flickering going on, and oh, a little bit of shaking and rumbling. Shake, rattle, and roll. And oh my goodness, hello, welcome to Nightmareville. It's X Death's Fun House. So we've got uh, the pillars with uh, demonic effigy, well, not effigies, but uh, little face carvings, um, every section of the wall looks like it wants to suck your soul out of it, your body, um, you know, fires everywhere, um, it's just super cozy. Alright, let's proceed. Oh, hello. Um, but, um, anyway, uh, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Um, uh, Let's see, probably flame scroll. Gaia, throw water. Um. Oh, uh, so now, oh man, come on, how is that Hellraiser? Um, dang it. Usually the Hellraisers don't have such a high success of. Um, <clears throat> What am I trying to say? Of casting a rise, usually, lately in my experience, usually it misses. But uh, maybe today their their proc chance is good. Oh, a potion! Thank you. Okay, let's uh, go, go, go. Black warlocks. These guys are a barrel of fun. Uh, let's just throw lightning at their face. Um, These are perhaps uh, some of the enemies I dislike most in the game uh, because all, all of their abilities are are pretty nasty. Um, there's that one, Drain. That's probably the mildest, honestly, of all of their abilities that they can uh, throw at you. <coughs> um, because they've got uh, Drain, they've got that, they've got um, Death, they've got... Uh, I think they have... Do they have gravity? It's like, it seems like every, every spell, um, ooh, ice shield. Let's, let's equip, um, cry with that ice shield. Because I think that'll be better. Um, actually, no, let's deliver with the Aegis shield. It's fine. There are blue dragons that, uh, come along later. Um, but, uh, Please get wind slash. Ah, dang it. Haha. -ha. See, that's what I was counting. <laughs> it's for that arise ability to fail. Because when it fails, it's all fine. Um, throw. Let's throw some more water. That should do it, yeah? Nope. Never mind. Fine, I'll throw lightning at you. Now, these magic dragons, they are weak to wind, um, so... Ow. We're gonna do a little bit of overkill here. There we go. 
six ability points. That's pretty fantastic. And an elixir. That's nice. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take off the cool dude glasses. Uh, where's my eye drops? And... <clears throat> We've got some potions, so might as well use them. This is totally unnecessary. Could have just uh, cast a heal. Thought there was a. All right, let's do that. <clears throat> Throw more lightning. There we go. Oh, and the, ah, the Hellraiser casts arise. Dang, did that heal it to full health? Holy smoke. It must have. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, Oh yeah, that's right, and they have a Roga. Let's go ahead and throw a heal on Bart. Um, oh, come on. Just please cast Wind Slash. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna do something here. Defend. We're just gonna spam stop these guys so we can recover some health because this was a, a bruiser of a fight. Um, yeah, we took uh, some damage here. Fortunately, almost everything is uh, susceptible to um, Romeo's Ballad. Um, I think the Adamantite Golems are the only things that cannot be stopped. The, uh, oh, and the Black Warlocks, that's another thing. The Black Warlocks can be stopped, but their stop um, stoppage time is shorter. Um, and so that's another reason to uh, highly dislike them. Um, but uh, anyway. Let's just keep singing. Keep singing! Uh, and, yeah. Finish them off this way. Goodbye. Now we're back up to full health. Thank you very much, Romeo's Ballad. I prefer, if I can, to finish or to uh, at least get to um, the Gilgamesh fight without using any MP or... Um, let's see. Let's sing. Throw Flame Scroll. Um, Gaia. And another reason, I guess, to have two ninjas uh, that I didn't think about earlier was that um, with uh, Ferris being a ninja and being able to sing, uh, she's uh, she's faster, right, than if she were uh, a samurai. See, stop didn't last for very long. Um, it just uh, delayed. Um, Uh, what I'm trying to say, it just delayed the Black Warlock's turn, so that's it. Um, not as much, well, that's what stopped us for everybody, but not as much as other mobs. Like, other mobs would just, uh, you know, be stopped enough till the next turn, that so you could attack them and recast like we usually do. Um, and this is always a fun combination. Oh yeah, and they have Confuse, I forgot about that too. Forgot to mention they can cast Confuse, um, which uh, you know, if, if which is another reason why you if your party is uh, powerful, uh, like um, let's see, let's just throw another Flame Scroll. Ah, Bo Daggett. Um, yeah, that that can do some damage. Ouch. There's that spell that I was talking about. Death. So rude. 
Uh, man. I hate this dungeon. Alright. Hey, at least they give us a phoenix down. Um, but generally speaking, I want to preserve those, so... Gotta use precious magic points. That's just Kiraga. It's a lot, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, now we need to cast a uh, float. So we can wade in the water. It's a little bit warm. We're gonna dip into a hot spring. Just kidding, it's lava. The floor is lava, for sure. The Hayate bow, that's a nice bow. It would be a lot nicer if it didn't rely on a, a proc, if it, uh, if it actually just, um, ugh, cast Wind Slash, please, um, if it actually just, uh, did rapid fire every time, rather than just had a, like, what is it, a 30% chance, I don't know what it is, um, but since it's not, you know, you know, me and consistency, if it's not a consistent, uh, if it's not consistent, then I am not interested. Uh, there we go, there's Wind Slash. Such a good spell. I have um, I have done this dungeon. Usually, what I do—not usually, I shouldn't say usually. I don't I don't know that uh, I have any truly one. Um, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I was gonna say I could uh, do something besides. Okay, I just want to stop that black warlock really more than anything. Hey, nice dodge. But uh, I guess um, oftentimes I have um, Lena be uh, a chemist um, and uh, do some do some mixing while I am in here. But that requires extra time, you know. All the menuing requires that extra time, which oops, I already got that. Derp 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 derp. Which uh, I like I said, I don't have the patience for that today. Um, anyway, so this part's fun. Alright, so we're gonna fight a blue dragon and a red dragon. Um, we're not ready for this fight. We are not ready for this fight. We've got to run away. Please let us run away. Oh no, we're not, we can't do it. Okay, let's see if Romeo's Ballad can stop them. Oh, thank goodness Romeo's Ballad can stop them. Okay. Because, uh, that could have been bad. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, that could have been very bad. Uh. So. Oh, uh, no. No, stop them. Uh. Okay, so. We need, we need Bart's to now have control. I was not, um. Honestly, I, I wasn't expecting to, uh, come on, sing it. Hit him, hit him, hit him, got it. Thank you. Um, I wasn't expecting to fight a red and blue dragon first thing as I walked into the room. Uh, oh no, don't do it. Thank you for, uh, thank you for dodging. Okay, yeah, basically this is just, uh, Bart's is going to be all of our damage. We're going to try and recover our health because, uh, nice work, Bart's. Oh, man, that's a lot of experience. Oh. And 13 ability points. Okay, so abilities, Bart's. We need to give you control, equip you with the, uh, Hypnocrown now. Yeah.
Let's do a quick save. I think we're close to a, uh, what to call it, a consecrated circle, I think. So, okay, let's focus here. Because we gotta make sure ah, that we don't do that. It's these flipping abductors. Um, <clears throat> can we control these guys? No, didn't think so. We'll just uh, sing, sing, sing. And then uh, just do this. Thank you for casting Wind Slash and not something useless. Oh, alright. And I think most of the time you get an abductor. Alright, let's focus. Nope. Didn't get it. Okay. Uh, we might have to just uh, make a cut. Because, yeah, these guys hit pretty hard. Um, usually, I can... Uh, yeah, I can't control. Okay, yeah. Let's see, cast a little healy heal. Did I seriously... <laughs> I blocked the healing staff. That's kind of funny. Uh, I don't want your heals. Oh man, it's like the it's like the rogue in the party, right? I don't need heals. <laughs> uh, too much. Okay. The imp. Uh, I don't know. Can we Romeo's ballad him? Yeah, we can do Romeo's ballad. Nothing. Dang it. Okay. We'll go ahead and um, just do a quick fast forward to when we actually get the chest. So. <sighs> Alright. So we got it. Alright. Let's get this chest. Uh, we got the Kotetsu. And that's just for samurai. So let's go ahead and get the other one. Focus, 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 focus. Yeah. Uh, alrighty. Ice brand. That's a, a grand sword, so we can't um, really do much with that. Oh no. Those uh, banner curls are quite strong. Please die. There we go, and this should do it. Alrighty, fantastic. Alrighty, and then we'll just come down here. And I think... Yes, thank goodness. We've got a consecrated circle. Where's our tents? Have a little bit of sleepy sleep. We'll just spend the night in X-Death's fun house. Pardon me, I had a slight interruption there. Alrighty, I don't even remember what I was saying. Uh, but anyway, we've... Uh, camped out. Had a little sleepover in X-Death's little crib. Um, Alright, let's proceed forward. Alright, let's go get that chest. A red dragon. Okay, control. I'm not dealing with that again. Oh no. Uh. Fortunately, we've got Romeo's ballad. And if we have to do it this way, we've got to do it this way. That's fine. I don't think. Uh. Okay. All right. Is everybody 
Up to full health. Yeah, okay, so we'll just do this. <clears throat> and we'll just cast uh, Flare level 3 on myself. This is the uh, way I prefer to fight red dragons. This way, uh, we stay safe. And... Man, it takes a lot of those, doesn't it? Alright. Six ability points for just one red dragon. That's a lot. Alright. <coughs> Oops. Another elixir. A yellow dragon. Well, this is just a fun... Fun time all together, huh? Alright, let's, uh... Hurricane. And then anything will uh, take him down now. Alright, there we go. And, um, these dragons, I guess you could say, are a good source of, uh, you know, experience and, uh, Um, what am I trying to say? Experience and uh, ability points, but I mean, there are, there are better th places to do that. I just I just prefer to get through this uh, place, honestly. <coughs> there we go. The Black Warlock was kind to us this time, but only this time. Uh, we probably should cast, uh... Oh, we need to cast, uh, Float. Again. Let's cast a Cura on Ferris. Alrighty. We should have, I was gonna say, yeah, we should have ten chests right now. Uh, let's see, I don't think it matters which scroll we do. There we are. Okay. Nice, another elixir dropped. Okay, let's go over to this staircase first. Oh, fetch. Alrighty, so normally um, this kind of an encounter would mean uh, instant death. But we've got... Um, we've got Fire Scrolls and we've got Romeo's Ballad. So we will be okay... Um, we could also do control, I believe. Nope, this one can't be controlled. So, never mind. Um, whoa, that was a lot of damage. Throw, we'll just keep throwing fire scrolls and water scrolls at them. Any scrolls, I don't think that they're resistant to any particular scrolls. Um,. Ouch. Uh, come on, let's get him. I can't remember how much health these guys have, but uh, as you can imagine, it's a lot. <clears throat> this is going to be a lot of experience. Okay, we'll just go ahead and attack. 
There we go. Nice. Whoa, 15 ability points. That's fantastic. Nice. Yeah, three blue dragons. That's probably one of the hardest fights uh, in this castle. Just because they can't be controlled. Their frost breath is uh, very dangerous. And... Uh, Really? Oops, wrong scroll, my bad. And then of course they've got that Arise spell. Eh. Ouch. Mm. Oh wait, that's not gonna do anything. You have got to be kidding me. The Hellraisers, like I said, they're being particularly annoying today. There we are. Oh. Okay, so let's come up here. Okay, and in my infinite wisdom, I forgot to leave notes on the path, but I think I remember it. It's down, over, down, and then one, two, up, and up here, and then straight through here. Yes. And then I believe... Oh, hello. Um... take these guys out real quick goodbye man their arise is proccing so much today come on <sighs> this should do it there we go oh man all right, nice. That kind of made it worth it. <laughs> Thank you for being generous on your elixir drops. All right, this will take us over here to this uh, little orb that we recognize, of course, as a summoning orb. So we're gonna change jarbs. And it doesn't matter what sword we use, not really. Um, all right, we could do it um, one of two ways. We'll we'll see which way wins, right? I'm pretty sure that the Mystic Knight will win because it only takes the Mystic Knight two turns. Um, let's do a quick save. Carbuncle. All right. Let's dance then, Carbuncle. Uh, let's see, black magic. Uh, do we have? We don't have reflect, do we? No, we don't. Not on, or is it white magic? Is it white magic? Um, I don't remember. Hey, let's try Goblin Punch on you. Nope, not uh, susceptible to that. Here we go, reflect. Um, spell blade. Is it break? It's bio. I've accidentally done break before, forgetting. Um, ouch. Okay, so we'll do black magic. And if we um, reflect bio off of our white mage, uh, 
Will that get him? No, that just damages him. Um, let's do a swift song, so it'll increase the speed of our party. Um, let's do a Cura. Nice. Not nice, but it doesn't matter because he's down. Oh, it's Reflect Break, Spell Blade. Okay, we could have reflect break, Reflected Break off of Lena. And that might have defeated him in one in the, the second round. Nice, spell, uh, 11 ability points. Or, of course, the spell blade um, with bio are his two weaknesses. So, anyway, um, it this is one of those fights that you definitely have to know the strat or learn the strategy. Um, I think I learned the reflect strategy before I learned the spell blade, spl spell blade strategy. Um, Okay, let me think here. Um, let's throw a Cura on Lana and Ferris. Alrighty, and let's uh, go about our merry way. Alright, and now we'll come back up this staircase. Oh, hello, Magic Dragon. You just, just had to do it, didn't you? Uh. Oh, we forgot to put parts back. That's okay. Put everyone's jobs back. The mystery Walt. What? Yeah, fun but useless. That's the only thing about the Dancer, is that, uh... It's like one of those really fun classes, but, uh... Utterly useless. Um... Okay, we need to take this dragon down. There we go. Alright, everyone's level 35. Fantastic. Uh, ninja. Control. There we go. And then Cryo. Give you Gaia back. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh. There we go. So now we can go to the next part of the dungeon. Yay! A consecrated circle. Okay, we are we are almost there. Um, we'll go ahead and use a tent. We don't really need to. Um, let me think here for a second. Should we go ahead and set our job up? Um, set our jobs up. Right now. Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. Although, let's do a quick save. Alright, let's come up here and open this chest. Um. Oh, come on. Ouch. Uh, wake up, Barts. Are you kidding me? Uh, let's just throw a scroll at your face. Nice.
And then you don't even... Uh, Oh boy. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> What's next, huh? Oh boy, come on. Surely somebody. Let's see, um, Ferris is stopped, Bart's is stopped. Thank you, Kryle, for casting Wind Slash and bailing us out of that. Man. They were just trolling us at, on that, at that point. Alrighty. Oh, it's empty. Oh, no. Alrighty, let's come up here and get these two last chests. Uh... Very nice, that should do it. Yeah, when we can get that that combo, that wind slash and the two um, partisan, this is that's a nice spear. And the Fuma Shuriken is a good throwing weapon. Okay, let's uh Okay. Ah Throw Throw water on him. And miss. Nice. Let's just attack. Just couldn't go down quietly, could ya? Just had to have something to say. Mm. All right, whatever. It's fine. It's only break. Hey, we got a power staff. Where is it? Gold needle. Okay, if we come up here. All right, let's change our jobs up. Um, let me think. We need. Um, We need a summoner. We'll, uh, we can give that to you, Kryl. Give you the summoner job. What what level is your summon magic? Three? Uh, will that give us what we need, though? Do we need Carbuncle? We don't need Carbuncle. Uh, we do need Golem, but we don't need Carbuncle, I don't think, for this, yeah, for the, for this fight. Okay. Um, abilities, this is going to be the Bart's show. Well, he's going to be the one who does most of our damage. Um, time and white magic, yes. And then, uh, well, yeah, we'll just give you summon magic. And then, do we want you to sing? Or do we want to give you blue magic? Let's give you blue magic. I don't think singing is going to help much. And then... Put you in the back row. That should be best, right? Yeah. Let's quick save. I think this is... Um, yeah, this is what we want. Hey, look who it is. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> so burned. Oh, Gil, you're so funny. Uh, and we're like, hey, hey, I want that sword. All right, so for another time. Oh, do you know what? We messed up. Um, we messed up. Yep, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta load. <laughs> we got a load. Because 
we need to have, uh, Ferris actually needs to be a thief. Um... And, uh, yeah, blue magic's fine. Doesn't matter what weapon she has, so let's give her this. With the elemental, ninja suit. Um, I guess, uh, nah, that doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh, not the elemental, sorry, my bad. Uh, Thieves' Gloves. Alright, now we can proceed. <laughs> um, this is our only chance to steal the Genji Helm. helm. So we will need Ferris to be a thief. Or somebody to be a thief. Uh, Blue Magic. Um, I can't remember... You're not susceptible to old. It seemed like there was something that... Um... That, like, worked on you. I don't know. Maybe I'm... Thousand Needles works, I think. Because it's a guaranteed thousand points of damage. Um... And then Rapid Fire does well because we got the twin lance and the air knife so we're doing like um i don't know let's see 400 times three times eight um oh hello um let's see uh da, 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 da. I just want to attack. Ow! Um... Items. I can't wake up, uh... I can't wake her up. So... What I can do, though, is cast... White Wind! Expensive, but it'll heal everybody to full. Nice. Um, blue magic. Let's keep doing thousand needles and rapid fire. Uh, let me think here. Um, yeah, we'll just keep casting thousand needles. We could have made uh, Kryle a black mage instead. Uh, man. I think we have to attack her so she wakes up. There we go. <sighs> Already our fourth rumble. <laughs> uh... I'm glad that uh, you appreciate it. Um, that was rude. I'm not understanding that. I will pound you, silly! <laughs> Alright, the fact that he cast the slash, that was rude. Um, I need uh, eye drops. Yep, and now they're talking about. Uh, the older fella um, who fell fighting X Death. Gilgamesh seems to be slightly remorseful, but uh, really? Um, I know I have a mallet here. <laughs> um. Oh, do I still have the healing staff equipped? I don't think that will do anything. Um, enough expository banter. Now we fight like men and ladies. And ladies are just like men. 
Uh, has to respect everybody, right? Okay. Uh, hello. Now that it's mine. Excalibur, huh? Haha, -ha, I got your helmet. Alright, let's, uh, get Kryle up. Or wake her up, I should say. Oh, anyway, the damage that Rapid Fire does. Uh, <laughs> does uh, level 3 Flare work? Um, I don't remember. How does Goblin Punch do against you? Have I already tried this? Okay, yeah, it doesn't do daily squat. Um, what about Aroga? Aroga should be pretty good, yeah? Oh yeah, 1430, that's pretty good. 400, 300, 440, 392, nice. Um, let's see. Oh no, your sword! Your sword has betrayed you! Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. Um, Eroga? Yeah, let's just go ahead and keep doing Aroga. Seems to be pretty effective. Yeah, usually I'm a black mage with Kryle. But this seems to be working just fine. Um, but I also like to have blue magic just in case. Uh, I like to have... Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so now we'll just sit back and relax. If we kill Gilgamesh at this point, um, having learned the hard way, if you kill him before this uh, this dialogue finishes between X Death showing his immense displeasure at uh, Gilgamesh for being a bungling fool, he's just he's trying his best. Come on, X Death. I mean, we're the Light Warriors, but X Death is uh, not known for his mercy and kindness. So, Gilgamesh sadly gets zapped into the void. Now, at this point, we can actually still attack him and uh, kill him, I think. Um, so, you just sit back and wait for it to happen. You know, wait for everything to transpire and transpire. And you get, not Excalibur, but Excalibur. Uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, inferior version of Excalibur. But Excalibur, even though it's a crappy sword, it does have a purpose. And that purpose is, um, let's see, jobs. So we want everybody to be a blue mage. Uh, doesn't matter what else we are, really. It really doesn't matter. Um... I wonder how Rapid Fire would do. But uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna find out. Uh, let's see, have you be white may a white mage, bleh, um, or give you white magic? You're already a blue mage. Actually, let's have you be. Um, a summoner with blue magic. Yes. Um, yeah, that's better. Okay, let's, um, check gear. We don't need the Hypnocrown. Let's see, um, Tiger Mask would be better. I think Gaia Gear. Versus Ninja Stu, Diamond Blade. Ah, it doesn't matter. Um, but the Diamond Armlet. We do want to give you the Elven Mantle. Okay, I think this is as good as we're gonna get here. Okay, so let's, um... Spend another night here. We're just having such a blast that we love 
Oh, have I spent all my tents? Okay, we'll just use a cottage. We just love, love, love our time in Gilgamesh is, uh... Oh. His abode. Uh, let's just run. If they'll, they'll let us, right? Go away. Alright, let's double check our chests. Let's quick save again. Yeah, saw that coming. Come on, run, please. Okay, use... Uh, we'll just potion up. Where are my potions? There they are. Alright, let's do this. Oh, let's put uh, Bart, let's put you in the back row. Let's not, let's not give you rapid fire. That was a dumb idea. That was a terrible idea, actually. Uh, <laughs> um... But yeah, it really doesn't matter. I wonder what how, how much power Zeni Nage will give you. Let's find out. We'll do a round where we cast Zeni Nage at him. That's also a um a uh, ba 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 a methodology here. So anyway, the reason why we're all blue mages is because of level three flare. The X Death is a level ninety nine warlock. Um, so. He uh, can, um, so he's susceptible to level 3 Flare, which I believe is the most powerful spell against him at this point. There are other um, strategies that we can use against him. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, go through the dialogue here. And we're like, well, no, we don't know your plan, but uh, some talking turtle told us to come stop you. Um... X death is just like I just want to take things back the way they were. That's kind of hard to believe. Um, believe what you wish. So now he's mad. He's mad, mad, mad. All right. So this is what we do. Um, summon. Oh, we left you with the summoning magic? That's right, we did. Because we want to summon... Um, Golem. Let's see, how much does Zeninage do? Blue magic. And then we want to summon Carbuncle. Kaboom! And this should protect us from not everything, but a fair amount of his attacks um, by uh, summoning, or yeah, summoning Carbuncle and Earthen Wall. So now we just uh, spam. I don't even remember how much damage Denny Nage did. I wasn't paying attention. That was good, though, wasn't it? Jeez, uh, I was. You know, your, your eyes can only be on so many places. Uh, 3,000. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. We'll just... Uh, we'll just proceed this way. Um, three level 3 flares plus Spart spamming Zeninage. Uh, this battle should be over quite quickly, actually. Yeah. Take that, yo. Boom. Yeah, there we go. With, yeah, with, with blue magic and summon magic, um, yeah, this battle's a breeze. 
And that's the wrap. Yeah, Carbuncle and Golem, man, they make so many boss fights like this one difficult. Uh, which which would be difficult, I should say. Oh yeah, by the way, we learned Doom. Um, it's kind of coincidental that the that Doom is a uh, blue magic. It's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll never use it. It's fun to have though. Um, oh no, the crystals are breaking up. But anyway, there's there's multiple ways of uh, defeating X Death. Uh, another way is I think like having three black mages with like some summon magic for abilities and um, having you know someone with a white mag white mage to heal. That's a little bit more difficult. That's the first method that I learned, um, and I and I think that that was kind of back back then was the uh, approach at least with my peers, you know, my my friends who. Um, I uh, I gamed with uh, when it came to Final Fantasy V or just Final Fantasies in general. Actually, the the strategy was hmm, it's a new boss. Let's see if we can nuke it first with black magic, and if that doesn't work, then we'll see if we can strategize. So, nuking with black magic uh, is kind of the first response um, for uh, for for me back in back in my day as a younger player anyway it's like can we nuke it with just sheer power and lo and behold we are back home right outside castle tycoon so folks uh that's the uh that'll be the end of the episode and in our next one we will go to castle tycoon we'll find out what's happened it appears that we have saved the world and we have defeated X Death, and everything is. Everything seems fine. The birds are chirping, and. We're gonna go have ourselves a party. But we know, of course, that that's not actually the case. So, um. There, um. There's more to come. So, until our next episode, so long for now.